Let's talk about COVID-19, your age, and its severity. Now, this topic really boils down to uh, your immune system and additional chronic diseases that a person has, okay? Because that, that's, that's what really increases the risk uh, on top of having COVID. And this is just going to be a summary of several reports and studies. I'm going to put those links down below, but I wanted to just help you understand this in a very easy way. If someone's 65 years old or more with a chronic disease or diseases or has a weakened immune system, um, COVID could be considered deadly to them, okay, if they're exposed to it. In fact, in Italy, which, by the way, has more elderly than any place in the world, they had an interesting stat. 60% of their deaths occurred in nursing homes. That's the that's majority of deaths. So let's say you're in a nursing home. Uh, what are the odds of you having a chronic disease? Very, very, very high, right? Now, what's interesting is that 95% of everyone over the age of 65 has some chronic health problem. That's interesting. I think it's completely unnecessary, and I will come back to that in a little bit, but 95% of people over 65, no wonder this is deadly. The great majority of people in this age bracket have other problems that really keep your immune system low. Now, if you try to find the death rate on someone that's 65 without chronic disease, it's very difficult. I have not found it. My thoughts are, if you have a strong immune system and you don't have a chronic disease and you're 65 or older, that it would not be that deadly. But that is my own theory. So let's go to the next one. If you're between 50 and 65 years old with a chronic disease or diseases or with a weakened immune system, it's potentially deadly. COVID-19 is potentially deadly. Now, here's another interesting fact. 60% of people that are in this age bracket right here, includes myself, have some chronic disease. It's definitely not me. And so this is why it's potentially dangerous. Okay, then we get to the age group of 40 to 50. Can have serious complications with a chronic disease or a weakened immune system, but not deadly. Interesting. If you're between 25 and 40, you may have the mild flu symptom between four and five days. If you, between the ages of 20 and 25, you might have the common cold symptoms. If you're between the ages of 10 and 20, almost always no symptoms, maybe some diarrhea. And in these categories right here, it's not deadly at all. Then we get this age range right here, uh, under 10 years old. 99% of that age group cannot even have COVID, nor can they infect others. Okay, so only 1% can. The great majority can't. Why? Because they have not developed adequately the ACE receptor in their cells, which the virus uses to invade the cell. So without that door, it can't get in. So I just wanted to kind of put this in perspective. And you could see what is the elephant in the room. It's this right here, chronic disease. What we should be focusing on is this right here, eliminating this. What can you do to eliminate chronic disease? Usually there's inflammation involved. And so if you're new to my channel, uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what I would recommend. It's basically fix the diet. Get on healthy keto, and intermittent fasting. That's the best thing to reduce the risk factor of having some type of chronic inflammatory condition. And one last thing, if you have not heard about uh, my immune course, it's a free course, I highly recommend you take it because of this right here, weakened immune system. If you have a strong immune system, you're bulletproofed. And so that's the name of this course, How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. It's awesome. You should take it. I put the link down below. Check it out.